This may be the most unhealthy recipe I have on this channel, but man is it good and it also has bacon. So to get started, I'm gonna start boiling some water. Always salt your water for pasta, it makes it taste so much better. And we're gonna put that on to boil. And then we're gonna get started with our ingredients. Four strips of bacon, I'm gonna cut them into rashers and we're gonna put that in a dry pan and fry them up. And you can see this little cut here. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Whoosh! cooked bacon. So here we're building up a fond on the bottom of those pans. Fond is basically just the burn on little bits from meat that you sear or cook. And I've also taken all the oil out and I've reserved that. And here I'm putting in a heavy cream, which is where the unhealthiness comes in. And that's going to somewhat deglaze the bottom of the pan. You're going to have to scrape it a little bit. But here is some black pepper. I find that in cream sauces, coarsely ground, always tastes better. I'm going to add half of the parsley, not all of it. And I'm going to give that just a quick mix. And here you see me kind of scraping the bottom to get all the little bits of stuck on bacon to integrate themselves into the sauce and make it taste delicious. And here I'm just going to drop in about half the bacon bits in. I'm going to put in my gorgonzola that's already crumbled. Remember surface area is going to make it melt much faster. And I'm going to give that a stir and make sure that that's all melted in. And here I've got some cayenne pepper I'm adding. It's going to give a little bit more depth of flavor as it always does. Romano cheese that I've finely grated. You can use Parmesan if you like. Um, I think Romano works perfectly well on this. And by now, your water should come to a boil. If you want to know a trick, if you ever have that problem where the water, you know, foams up and boils over, just add a little bit of oil to the top, message with the surface tension so you don't have to go over there and make sure that it's not boiling over all the time. And then drain your pasta. Simple as that. Don't run it underwater. Don't put any butter in it. Uh, just make sure that all the water is pretty much out and you're going to put that in with the sauce after you turn off the heat. And the salt is actually going to cook a little bit into the pasta when you do it like this. Here I'm just mixing it together. I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my bacon bits and the rest of my parsley. And the sauce is still somewhat hot enough to where it's going to cook the parsley slightly, but it's not going to lose its herbal notes, which is good. That's what we're going for. Anyways, make sure it's all mixed together. Cover it up with the dirtiest pot lid that you can find. I'm really sorry about this. Ugh. And uh, wait a minute. After that, serve it up and you're good to go. If you guys would be so kind, check the video in the bottom left, bottom right, or subscribe up top. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace! <clears throat> Still hurts. Still hurts to say that.